evening. It is Saturday evening. It's 20 after five. I just got my pizza dough made. We're having um, homemade pizza tonight. So I just got the dough made. It's going to rise for a little bit. So it'll be a late dinner tonight, which I don't know. I'm exhausted. It's been a long two days of baking and being on my feet. And this is so much why I need to lose weight. And I said to my husband, I, I have to do it this coming up year. I have to do it. I cannot just keep maintaining or losing a pound here, but gaining a pound back there. And I just can't. My son's kind of really motivated. My hair is falling out of my ponytail. Um, my son's kind of motivated too to like start the new year because his thing is, he's like, by the time I go back to school, I want to be a lot thinner and and he actually is slimming down quite a bit because um, he's getting tall. He is like as tall as me now. So, um, you know, he's like, I just want to feel better, you know, look better. And and I, you know, and it, it's so tough with young kids because I'm like, Roman, you look fine. I said, don't let anybody tell you you don't because the kids in his class make fun of him. And this is one reason why I'm kind of glad that we have the option of homeschooling because um he gets picked on a lot and a lot of it will go over his head and he's just like whatever but some stuff sticks with him and he gets really upset so um he was in a social media chat with kids from his class last year and um they called him 269 pounds they called him a faggot they called him all kinds of stuff and i will tell you this story so I didn't know, I, I shouldn't say I didn't know. I knew he was in this chat and I knew it was always a voice chat though. Like they would get on and I, he's like, I'm going in the chat with the kids from school. I said, you sit in the living room with that. I said, I, you're not going in your room. If you're going to be on, they didn't see each other. It was just a voice chat. It was through Instagram somehow, I think. So they were on, they were all chatting and you know, for the most part, it was fine and everything. Well, I didn't know that and I should have known, but I guess I just didn't know. You could also do, they, they all, in their group, they could chat back and forth to each other. So it happened to be last October and they were chatting back and forth. Well, some of the boys started picking on him on there and cause they pick on him for liking trains. They pick on him for, it just seems like for everything. And, um, the one kid called him, you're nothing but 269 pounds. You're a faggot. Or something else they call him too. He didn't even know what the word faggot meant. Because when all this blew up, it was a mess. So he's on this chat. Well, he brings my nephew in on this chat, who is nine months younger than him, but um, street smart years beyond him. I think he brought him in for reinforcement. <laughs> I don't know. So it started getting ugly, like very ugly. And these boys are calling him names. Some of the boys are saying F off and all this other stuff. So my son finally had it and he told them all to F off and he spelled it. Well, doesn't though, I shouldn't say doesn't. Don't those boys screenshot where my son says this to them. Mind you, I'm telling you right now. They screenshotted what he said to them. Took it to their teacher last year, their teacher said, take it to Mrs. Panagetti. I don't know what to do about this. This was, he was at home. He wasn't, we were actually down at church. It was, um, because not only did my son say, tell them to F off, my nephew said something even more horrific. And I won't even say what he said, but it was terrible. So it ended up, the principal calls him down did you say this yet? Yeah. And so she says on this screenshot of the conversation she has, she says, she calls me. She said, did you say, it? yes, I did. Why? And he's like, I don't know. You know, he, he's, so he, he didn't want to say why he didn't want to tell her because they make fun of me. And they, first of all, they call him a faggot. He didn't know what it was. So he's like, I didn't want to say, cause I didn't even know what that was. And he said, no, I didn't want to tell her they called me 269 pounds because I'm embarrassed. So I hope I don't cry telling you all that. So I'm out, I'm shopping and 
the principal calls me and she, now I'm at this point in time, we're friends. I worked for her for three years at our old school. And she's like, I can't believe I'm making this phone call to you, but I have to tell you about a situation going on. I'm like, oh my God, what? And she said, apparently on a group chat, Roman told his friends, friends to F off. I said, did he write it? She goes, yeah. And, I, and she said, and I questioned him and he said he did. And she's like, I'm sorry, but I don't see anywhere where these boys provoked him to say that. I'm like, okay. So she suspended him from school for a day. So she says, it's, it was lunchtime. And she's like, why don't you come get him? And I'm going to have to suspend him for a day because, you know, that he shouldn't be saying that stuff on social media. Mind you, it had nothing to do with school. It was not on school hours. He does not take his, didn't take his phone to school at all, ever. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, if I don't make an example of him, it's going to keep going. And I have to make an example of him. So I'm like crying my eyes out. And then she tells me what my nephew says. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, why is he in that? She's like, I don't know. I'm assuming Roman brought him in for him to stick up for him. So I'm thinking right there, okay, you're telling me you think he brought him in to stick up for him. For what? If these boys did nothing to provoke him, what did he need him to stick up for him for? And she kept, she told me repeatedly, I don't see anything where these boys provoked him. I just don't see anything. So I'm like, okay. So I get off the phone with her. I'm shaking so bad. My son has never had a late slip or detention. Nothing. He has never, ever, ever had behavior issues. So I'm thinking, I, I don't really know or understand what's going on. So I call my husband. I'm thinking, my husband's going to be so pissed with this kid. He is going to ground him. This is going to be so horrific. So I call my husband. I'm like, hey, I just got a call from the school. Roman's being suspended for a day. And he's like, why? So I tell him. He goes, because he said that? And I said, yeah. He goes, does she not think that they say this to their faces at school? I said, I know, but he has it in writing and she's got it. And so he's like, well... He goes, that's just petty. I'm not even worried about that. She goes, he goes, just go get him and bring him home. So I went and got him. His teachers gave him his work for the next day so he could do his work and stuff. So I went and got him. And I'm like, I say, get in the car. And I'm like, what is going on? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know why I'm getting in trouble. I don't understand why I'm the only one getting in trouble. And I said, so I sit him down. Well, of course, at, by this when it, when the conversation started getting really bad online, he deleted himself and got out of the whole thing. So I have nothing to look at. So he's telling, so then he starts telling me, well, they call me names. He goes, what's a faggot? So I tell him that. And he said, yeah, they call me that. And they also call me 269 pounds. I said, well, let me see. Well, I can't find anything because he deleted it all. Meantime, my sister, this principal called the principal of the school my nephew went to. So my sister's calling me because my nephew got in trouble too. She's calling me and I'm like, I, I, to me, it was more provoked by my nephew making him, not making, but provoking my son to do that because my son would not do that. I know he wouldn't. So it ended up, I wouldn't talk to her. So the next day we had a, we had a big dinner at our church. So my, uh, I knew my sister was going to be there. So my husband said, I'll talk to her. So he talks to her and then he comes, he goes, you need to talk to her. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. She goes, well, I'm not sure either, but I have some things you might be interested in. I'm like, what? She shows me the whole conversation because her son has the whole conversation. I never thought, oh, in it is where they're making fun of my son, calling him all those names. I said, send me all of that. So she sent it to me. So, and it, in reality, it worked out so well for me <laughs> that my son was off that day because we had this big dinner at church and we had to set it up and decorate and, <laughs> and pick up the cake. And so this way I didn't have to worry about taking him to school and picking him up. Now, what I did was took him to my mother's house for the day and he had to do his schoolwork there. And then when it was time for the dinner, we picked him up, came home and changed and went down to the dinner. I wasn't even going to let him go to the dinner. And my husband's like, no, he's not getting punished for this. He worked this, he deserves to be here to celebrate. So I'm like, okay, because I'm just furious about, I, I'm mad at my kid for doing that because he knows better. 
So when my sister sent me all that, I was like, <sighs> so dropped my kid off. I didn't tell him I was doing anything. I didn't, he didn't know I saw everything, dropped him off at school. Of course, he's now a wreck. He don't want to go to school. He doesn't want to see anybody. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He's, he's embarrassed. He's humiliated everything. So drop him off, go and park my car, walk into the office and sit down. I said, I want to speak to the principal. So they're like, okay. So as soon as she comes in, she's like, oh, can I make the morning announcements first? I said, you go right ahead. I have all day for this. And I'm like, I felt like at this point now I have the upper hand because she didn't do her job. So this one teacher walks in, it's one of Roman's teachers. And she's like, how's Roman? I said, he's fine. He's here today. And she's like, oh, you just never know. I said, no, you don't. But I said, I found out a whole bunch of, of reasons why things were done. Mind you, my kid was wrong by what he did. He was wrong. And we punished him for that. He was, he had punishment for it. And he was wrong for what he did. He should not have done that. So when the principal came in and called me in her office, so I said, I think I have some things you need to see. So I said, I just pulled off the greatest hits but I said, I have pages and pages of this. So I handed her my phone and her eyes got real big and she gets out her phone and she starts snapping pictures of the conversation. I said, hold up, hold it right now. I said, what's done is done. My son has been punished. So as far as I'm concerned and as far as you're concerned because of the punishment, this is done and over with. I said, I want nothing more done to anybody. I said, my point is to let you know that there was reasons why things happened. And I said, there was another boy on this conversation that kept effing off to everybody. And I had to laugh because she's like, well, this one here effing everybody off was the ringleader of turning Roman in. I said, well, I just wanted you to know that there was reasons why this happened the way it happened. And I said, what my son did was wrong. It doesn't make it any better what he did. But I said, you know, the thing he kept telling us was, I can't understand why I'm the only one being punished. And I said, now we know why he can't understand why he's the only one being punished. But she's like, so she says to me, well, I can't punish Roman the way I did and not anybody else. And I said, no, I'm sorry. My husband and I do not want any more trouble for our son. I'm asking this to be done. I said, it's done and over with. The punishment was given. My son served it. It's done and over with. But I wanted you to see that these boys only showed you what they wanted you to see. And I said, if this was looked into a little bit further and, you know, she could have asked them for the phone and say, I want to see the whole conversation, not just a screenshot. She could have done. I felt that was her job. If, if she was going to punish somebody, you should see the whole thing, not just what someone shows you. So that's what angered me the most is that she just took the words of 12 year old boys, just a couple of them, you know, of what was going on. Look what he said to us for no reason. So I said, I just thought you should see that. That's all I wanted today. I said, I wanted you to know that there was a whole bunch more to this than that was brought to your attention. So I could tell, oh, I, at this point, I just want to get out of there now. And I could tell she felt so stupid. Like her face was red and she was like, and I, so I left. And, I, and then I was like, oh, I prayed to God. Nothing else happened because I didn't want, we didn't want any more trouble for our son. He's a good kid. So um, my, I pick him up and I said, hey, how was school? And he's like, fine. And um he said, I don't know what happened today, but a whole bunch of boys from both the classrooms were called to the office. He said, most of them all came back crying. And I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. And <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, I don't know either, but they were like really crying and stuff. And <laughs> I'm like, hmm. So, uh, but it took my kid months to get over this. I mean, months and months. Um, we were probably, I will say this whole COVID thing ha was probably the turning point for him in not worrying about being suspended, even though we were in a brand new school year now, 
no, we weren't in a new school. We we're in a brand new year, not school year. We were still, so when this whole COVID thing hit, it was like, it was almost a relief for him to be done with that school year and done going to school for that year. So, um, anyway, so that happened last October. And when it came time for Christmas, he was like, I don't think my elf is coming. I don't think Santa's coming. I mean, he was very depressed and very, you know, um, just, I mean, he was upset with himself, but then, like I said, he just couldn't understand how with this whole situation that he was at fault for everything. And, um, so I, we had taken his phone away and stuff like that. But after we found all this other stuff, my husband was like, give him his phone back. He's like, what he did was wrong and it's a learning thing. But he said, you know what? It, it was a whole situation. It just wasn't a one person thing. So we gave him his phone back, but I went in it and I deleted all those boys. He He's not allowed to talk to those boys online. And let me tell you, I, I'm somehow, I got myself somehow attached to his Instagram. So when things come in, I see it too. And that's how it was before, except they, except I didn't know they had this group chat. And, um, so after we deleted, I deleted and blocked all those boys. And, um, like a day later, three or four of them started trying to friend him under different names. And cause he, I was like, who's this? And it was, it was like a fake name. He's like, oh, that's so-and-so. That's a name they like to use. And I'm like, nope. So, and I, I didn't say anything to the principal about that. I thought if they keep doing it, I'm going to go to her and tell her, you know, they keep trying to friend him under different names and I don't want this, this is bull. But the overall thing about this whole scenario that happened, I had teachers, a couple of his teachers called me and they, they were like, Edie, this is crap. This is really crap. She had no business doing that to Roman. First of all, it didn't happen in school. Secondly, she said there was more to it. She didn't even look into it. And they said, and third, um, you need to go. They wanted us to go to the school office, the main office, and put in a complaint because this wasn't right. And and I just, and she's, a couple of teachers are like, you have no idea the crap that goes on here. And, you know, they, I guess they felt this was a way for them to maybe get some justice or, or get someone else to hear of, I don't know. Um, but my husband was like, cause I'm like, mm, I, I didn't, we just didn't want any more trouble from our son, you know? And so I was like, mm, no, I, I'm not doing, if you guys aren't happy, you're going to have to go, you know? Um, yeah, we're unhappy with how everything played out, but you know, it was a learning lesson and it, was it fair? No. Did my son do the right thing? No, <laughs> he shouldn't have said that. And, but you know, it, it, it was an eye opening for everyone, I think. And I, and I truly believe including the principal because like, um, I used to be like friendly with her and stuff. I won't, I don't even talk to her now. I won't say anything to her because I feel like you're in a position to do your job. You didn't do your job. You took a kid, a good kid and tarnished his reputation and let boys bully him and not even look into it. And instead you just right away, you said this, you're gone and no, no looking into it. And I just... To me, I just didn't think that was right. If if it was if I was in her shoes, I would have said, I want to see the whole conversation. You're showing me one part. That's not the whole conversation. And I showed it to her and it it went on for hours, this talking, and it went on for weeks because um she's like, Well, this is from early October. I said, Yeah. I said, This has been going on for weeks, I guess. I guess they like to get on here and call him names all the time. So I said, you will see what we're, cause I had where they would call him names and he's like, ha ha funny. And they're, and then, and then they'd call him another name and he's like, well, I'm out of here and he'd leave. But I think he just got to the point where he just was like, you know what? F you. And that's what happened. And, and he, he got punished greatly for it. So anyway, I don't even know why I got on, <laughs> how I got on that subject, but I wanted to share that with you. Um, 
So when we had the option of going remote this year, that's why my son was like, I'm staying home. He's got a couple good friends at school and he, he, I will let him talk on the computer with them. Um, and then he does, he actually takes his clarinet lesson with his one friend on zoom with the music teacher together and stuff. But, um, there's just, there's about four or five boys. I will not let him deal with, talk to nothing. And, uh, I just, they're a bunch of bullies and I just don't let, don't like that. And I'm not going to put up with it, but anyway, I can't remember why I started this. I don't know if it had to do, I'll have to go back and look and see <laughs> why I started this. But anyway, so even through all of that last school year, he maintained straight A's and, you know, so he, he only missed he, he was real big on never missing school. So then when he missed that day being suspended, he was like, but I haven't missed any school and stuff. So, um, it just, it got to the point where I'm like, it's okay to miss a day here and there Rome. So, um, I can't remember when it was, it was in last fall after this, not long after, it. um, he had like a headache. He's like, I have a little headache. I said, yeah, you're staying home today. I let him stay home. I just, um, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced that, but I thought I would share that with you. That was our big drama last year. And the thing is, he was so looking forward to middle school. He could not wait to get to middle school. He's like, I want to run for student council. I, I, he had plans of being so involved in the school and doing stuff. And then after that, he's like, he doesn't want anything to do with the school. He's like, uh you know, I'm done with that school. So, but I will tell you, uh, I, so I sent Christmas, I sent their Christmas cards with their, with their gift cards and stuff. And, um, his one teacher today sent him a little stuffed animal from a floral shop and, uh, thanked him and stuff and, and told him how much she misses him being in school. And this was one of the teachers that called me and was like, you need to do something that was so unfair to do to Roman. And, and she's like, I know Roman, he's such a good kid. And if he did this, he did it because something happened. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you for saying that because the principal that I knew for years didn't see that. And I'm like, you know, she, she has been my son's principal since first grade. And it's like, and it was sixth grade. Like you've known this kid for six years. How, how, how do you not, you know who he is, you know how he is, you know, and I don't know. So she sent him a real nice card and a stuffed animal and stuff. So I, I don't know, but anyway, um, but we sent to all his teachers. I, I always do that every year. I sent to everyone. The gym teacher gets something, the computer teacher gets something, everybody, because when I was a librarian at, at his old school for three years, um, nothing, I don't want to say this, nothing was more like heartwarming to me than at Christmas time when families remembered me and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I'm not, I wasn't a teacher teacher. I was just a librarian and, and I actually had, I mean, I, like, I never expected that the first year and I was like, oh, oh my God, you know, like they thought of me. And after that, I was like. I will always make sure because you know when when you're in elementary school w like when he was up at the old school his they didn't have um I mean they had a gym teacher but they didn't have an art teacher or a music teacher well no they did have music they, but they didn't have art they didn't um I don't know they didn't have all the teachers they have now so I, I would get the you know so I but I always made sure after that I was like I will always make sure we call them the specials that the specials teachers will get something because a lot of people don't think of them, you know? And, and so I always make sure I do for everybody. And even this year, our budget been really tight. Cause you know, my husband didn't get a lot of overtime for like six months. He had zero overtime. And so things were tighter this year for us. Not that it's a shame, but we do reply, reply, rely on that overtime. So, um, 
I, and I always have sent the principal something. I always send her a card with a gift card and stuff. And I didn't do it last year after all of this had happened. I thought, no, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm completely done with you. And then, um, uh, so, but this year we have an assistant principal, which we've never had before. And she was actually Roman's first teacher when he came to the new school. So she is so nice. The nicest person. She, she's in training to become a principal. She will make a fabulous principal. I mean, she is just, I don't know. I can't even say words. She's just so helpful, so kind, so loving to the kids. I mean, those kids know that they are loved by her. This other one, hmm, not so much. So I did send her a gift card because <laughs> she, she's my go-to. If I have a question, like, are we, you know, we didn't, we don't hear a lot of what's going on in school. We just do school work and send it in. But, you know, so I'll ask her, is this, you know, are we supposed to be doing this at home or is this supposed to be this? And she will answer me right away. I text or I email and she answers me. And I thought, I'm sending her something because I know she's getting a lot of the shit work from the principal to do. And um, so I just felt the need to do that this year for her. So, but anyway, this is getting really long and I don't know how I even got on this subject. But anyway, that's, that's our story with my son and his little, he calls it the situation. So, um... I had a terrible day of eating. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I had a bagel and a donut this morning. I had my uh, the last cup of broccoli soup for lunch, which wasn't bad at all. And then we're having our homemade pizza tonight. So that's my day of eating. <laughs> and then I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what's on for tomorrow night. Might be my son's been bugging me for homemade mac and cheese. It might be that. I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, but we might be having homemade mac and cheese. <laughs> but the next two weeks is going to be really tough. You know, try it's probably going to be simple or I don't know. I don't It's just going to be really tough. This next week, I'll be so happy when it's Saturday at noon and this market is all done. And, you know, actually I'll be happy Thursday night because my husband's done until January 4th. Uh, my son still goes to school till the 23rd of December, which kind of stinks, but oh well. But it'll be nice to have my husband off. <sighs> so anyway, I have rattled on enough and I will talk to you all later. So the other thing that coincides with this, when my son was in fourth grade, it was his first year at this new school. One of the boys got a phone for Christmas. So um, I was sitting in my living room one night <laughs> and he's sitting with me, we're watching Nickelodeon. And serious as all get out, he turns and says to me, mind you, he's 10 years old. He says, what's porn? I was like, what? He's like, what's porn? I said, how do you spell that? He goes, P-O-R-N. I said, where did you hear that? He's like, well, so-and-so got a phone. So after school, we're sitting in the gym waiting to be called for the car rider line. And he says, they're looking up porn and they're showing everybody porn. I said, did you see it? And he goes, yeah. I said, what did you see? He says, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> and I'm like, it wasn't funny at the time. I started crying and I run down to my husband in the basement and I'm like, He's seen porn. I said, he's asking me what porn is. He's like, what? And I said, I know. So I, uh, I actually ran into the principal the very next night. And I said, hey, I don't know if I should tell you this or not. But I said, my son saw porn in school. She goes, what? And I said, yeah. I said, so-and-so got a phone for Christmas. And when they're in the gym waiting to be called for the car rider line, I said, they're looking at porn on his phone she's like oh my god she goes I'll call you Monday so I'm like okay so she called me Monday and she's like what happened so I told her and she's like okay I'll I'll get on it well let me put you in the tripod this boy happens to be the son of the 
the, um, he's like runs the surgery center at one of our big hospitals. And so all I was told after that was, um, it, the situation was all taken care of. I said, okay, great. No suspension, no nothing, nothing, nothing was done. So the teacher says to me, well, she took care of it. And I, and the teacher is now the assistant principal. And she goes, I guess when she told the mom, the mom cried and that was enough. I was like, okay. And she goes, I'm like, wow. <laughs> so I guess it's okay to look at porn in school, but outside of school, if you tell the boys to F off for making fun of you, you get suspended. So there too is another reason why I was a little bit worked up about everything that went on. But my son is okay. I don't want to be saying, oh, we should get counseling. We did have him, I had him talk to our priest. I said, you, you should probably, I said, why don't you talk to father? I said, tell him how you feel and just say, he, but it, it took him a long time to even talk about the situation because he was embarrassed and he was humiliated and everything. And, um, but he did talk to him and, and our priest was so good to me. He's like, he said, even though it may seem like a big deal to you right now, he said, you're going to look back at this and it's going to be absolutely nothing. <laughs> He said, I'm not saying what happened was right. It wasn't right. He says, and you know now not to do that kind of stuff. But he said, you know, um, it's, it's, it's really not a big deal. It's, it's really okay. And so, you know, so we did have him talk to somebody because I, I, we worried about him and stuff and we talk a lot to him about it. And he would, he'd actually call my mom a lot and talk to her about it a lot and, um, so he, I mean, he's fine and stuff. It was just a, it was just a bad year. He just was look, so looking forward to being in middle school. And then that just, it all came crashing down. And so anyway, so I thought I would tell you that. And I think that's it. I'm just going to end this video because it's quarter after six. So I'm going to go make the pizza so we can eat. I think we're going to try to do our gingerbread houses tonight, or at least get our structures up and let them uh, harden overnight and maybe decorate them tomorrow. So I think that's about it. I have no idea what my points will be today. My pizza will be 12, my soup was six, that's 18. And then I have no idea about that bagel and donut. I'll have to try and look something up for it. I'm sure the bagel's at least eight or nine, but that donut was probably like 20. It's It was a glazed twist donut. So, and it's from a local donut shop, so they're, they're not in our app. So, probably take like 20 points for it, I'm sure. But anyway, so just a little story I thought I would share with you today because I was getting on the subject of we want to lose weight because my son feels like I want to go back to school, but I want to be thinner. In his mind, he thinks if he goes back, they're not going to make fun of him. But I don't know. And, and it's just a, such a tough world right now. And... Unfortunately, the school he goes to, there's a lot of privileged kids there, so it's really hard. It's it's really hard to, like, he's just, we're just middle class people. We are not on the higher scale, you know, and, and unfortunately, a lot of the kids are privileged out there, so it's, it's just different. So, anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a great Saturday night, and, um... If I do, if we do our gingerbread houses and stuff, I'll video some of it and I'll show you tomorrow. So I will talk to you later.